So starting here with an ellipse, it makes sense to start with well, how we build an ellipse. And to do that, we'll take some point. And we'll just have it be a point floating in space for now. It doesn't need to have any great meaning. And let's say that we have that point and we want to talk about all other points around it so that the distance away remains constant. So you have this string representing the distance. I unwind it around and I go off the page like that. And hopefully, based on some of the things we've seen in our previous sections, it should make sense that what you'd get from that would be something like a circle. But we know a lot about circles, so let's talk about things that are a little different. Let's take this point here and give it a neighbor somewhere over there. And we'll take these two points, and instead of just talking about the distance away from this to anywhere else as being constant, we'll talk about points such that the sum of distances away from both of them is constant. We'll recall these two points here, our foci, it's the plural of focus in this context, but if we take all of those points, we'll still get something roughly circular, but not quite as nice as a circle itself. Instead, we'll get a shape called an ellipse built around that type of location, where specifically when we talk about the definition of an ellipse, we have that an ellipse is the set of all points P such that the sum of distances from two other points, which we call F1 and F2, our foci, is constant. Where when we're talking about our ellipses in 9.4, you may see a little bit about how you can get some more wild rotations, but the two we're going to focus here on are the horizontal and vertical arrangements, where we call it horizontal if the longer side that we call the major axis is horizontally oriented, and then we call it vertical if the longer side, the vertical, the vertical, the major axis is vertical. And then we also have our minor axis, which is the shorter side, because here we're not getting a perfect circle. We're getting something that's a little bit flattened or a little bit stretched, depending on how you want to think about it, depending on what sort of perspective you want to have here, where we say that the two points that meet the ellipse along the major axis are called our vertices. And for this section, we're going to be looking at the general construction of an ellipse, the types of equations we have with ellipses, the types of ways that we can graph them, what we look for, and then how we can apply them as well, where you know, there's going to be a lot of static images here, but I should give you guys some resources for where you can play around with this stuff and see these things in motion because, well, it's, it's one thing to just have that static shape, but it's another thing entirely to actually see how those pieces come together. But anyway, the next thing we're going to see is how we can talk about these in their nicest form, which is what happens when we center them around the origin.